Well, how well does this world know Cuba's leader? CCTV's Michael Voss takes a look at his life and legacy. When Raul Castro took over the presidency in 2008, he was seen as a transitional leader. His charismatic elder brother, Fidel Castro, had ruled the country for almost half a century. When he stepped down due to ill health, many in the West thought Cuba's communist system would collapse without him at the helm. Yet it proved a smooth transition and Raul Castro quickly set his own agenda, pushing through a series of social and economic reforms. Cubans can now be self-employed and set up small businesses. They're also free to buy and sell their homes and cars and travel abroad without permission. But Raul Castro's boldest step to date was to make his peace with U.S. President Barack Obama, bringing one of the last Cold War hostilities to an end. Both Castro brothers were born in rural eastern Cuba. They came from a wealthy farming family, but went on to become revolutionaries. Raul Castro fought alongside Fidel in the guerrilla campaign, which overthrew the dictator Fulgencio Batista in 1959. He later became the world's longest serving defense minister. As president, he says he's not about to give up on his ideals. I was not elected president to restore capitalism to Cuba nor to surrender the revolution. I was elected to defend, maintain and continue perfecting socialism, not to destroy it. Raul Castro will turn 85 this year. His priority now is to try and turn Cuba's struggling economy around before he steps down as president in 2018. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.